How to Overcome Procrastination, Three Tips to Boost Your Writing. Hi, welcome to First Editing. I'm Joellen, and today we'll be talking about overcoming procrastination, which is quite common among writers. So why do we procrastinate in the first place? Well, while you might think you're just being lazy, procrastination is actually a freeze response. Writing a whole book can feel really scary, which overwhelms a lot of writers so much that they just really struggle to sit down and write anything. But look at it this way. Things will always be hard and writing a book is undeniably hard, but thinking about it and never doing it and feeling bad about never doing it is also really hard. You've just got to choose your heart. So let's go over our three best tips on how to overcome procrastination and boost your writing. So tip number one is basically to throw perfectionism in the bin. When you're transforming an idea into words on paper, you're essentially trying to give a perfect idea an imperfect shape, which often feels like failure. But remember, no written story is ever 100% perfect. And you can either have a perfect story, no one reads because you'll never write it, or you can have an imperfect story that's real and cherished by hundreds of people. And another thing to keep in mind is that first drafts are never great. All that matters is that your, your draft exists because you can't edit a blank page. So our second tip is to reorganize your priority. Procrastination is easier to overcome when you have different other responsibilities which keep you busy. But once you make writing one of your top daily priorities, you can begin to work on that easily. The best thing you can do is turn writing into the first thing you do every day. This way, your procrastination basically won't even get a chance to set in because your time, your workday starts, your writing will already be done. And you don't forget that half an hour or even 15 minutes of writing is always better than no writing at all. And our tip number three is not to bite off more than you can chew. Writing a novel is a huge task because there are dozens of thousands of words, multiple subplots, character arcs, twists, and plenty more, which is why it's important to break it down into small pieces. If you set achievable goals that fit your circumstances, energy, and abilities, it'll be much easier to reach them and feel motivated to keep going. So as an example, you don't need to write 2,000 words a day, especially if you have a full-time job. You don't even need to write 1,000. If you write just 500 words a day, you'll finish a 70,000-word novel in under a year, which is pretty great. And if you don't have to focus on one word count either, you can just simply write for half an hour every day, or you can set a goal of 4,000 words a week to give yourself more flexibility, whatever works for you. As long as you establish some kind of a routine, it is going to be fine. Just make sure your goals as manageable as possible. And if you feel stuck, you can try free writing or just spend some time creating character sheets or building a world map or brainstorming different plot twists. A lot of writing isn't just about word count because a lot of it takes place inside your head while you're out walking or washing the dishes. And our final piece of advice is to stop waiting for the inspiration to strike. Writing isn't just art, it's also a craft, and every author has to force themselves to sit down and write from time to time. That's completely normal, so don't give up. Keep writing. And that's us for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below, or drop us an email at editors at firstediting.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.